today's uh, topic is about zener diode zener diode is one of the electronic components widely used in the field of electronics as well as in the electronic circuit boards mainly zener diode it is used in the circuit of the voltage regulator in the picture the zener diode is shown nearby its symbol is also given in the case of zener diode there are two ends one is p end and another one is n end the n end is represented by the ring black color ring nearby in the symbol you are able to see the arrow head that is triangular part that is a p end the triangular portion that arrow head that shows the direction of the conventional current that n end is represented by a line which resembles like english letter z okay so the circuit symbol must be used while drawing the zener diode in the circuit nearby its original photo is shown here okay here we are going to learn what is zener diode okay what is the actual definition of the zener diode how it is different from p n junction diode all those things to be learned one by one just i am going to tell you the introduction about uh, zener diode first you have to understand that it is a heavily doped silicon diode heavily doped means in the case of a diode zener diode on either end on either side p type semiconductor and n type semiconductor both are heavily doped here more number of trivalent impurities are doped in n end more number of pentavalent impurities are doped so because of the doping of more number of pentavalent impurities more number of electrons are available here more number of holes are available here here in the very close to the junction the depletion region is there the depletion region is very narrow that's why this is called as heavily doped silicon diode and then this one is working only in the reverse biased condition look at here p end of the zener diode is connected with negative end of the power supply and n end of the diode is connected with positive end of the power supply p is connected with negative n is connected with positive such kind of connection such kind of biasing is called what is this reverse bias on the whole we can say that uh, zener diode is nothing but it is a heavily doped reverse biased diode is called as zener diode again i'll repeat what is zener diode it's a heavily doped reverse biased silicon diode is called zener diode that is a simple definition of zener diode and then we have to know about inventor who designed this one clarence melvin zener he was the one who designed the zener diode and then uh, specifically this zener diode that is designed in a such a way that that should be operated only in breakdown region i will explain the meaning of breakdown region all those things in the next part it is designed to be operated in the breakdown region don't forget this we have to learn about uh, the exact meaning of breakdown in the next slide <coughs> and then depends on the doping level depends on the addition of impurity the breakdown voltage it varies from zener diode to zener diode are you clear depends on the doping which one varies the breakdown voltage also varies are you clear while buying in the while buying the zener diode in the market from the electronic shop you have to specify the breakdown voltage of the particular zener diode only then they will give the zener diode different zener diodes are available in the market with the different breakdown voltages are you clear you have to understand this different zener diodes are available in the market with different values of breakdown voltages so the range of breakdown voltage starts from 2 volt to 2000 volt the meaning is different diodes with different breakdown voltages are available the range it starts from 2 volt to 2000 volt you have to understand the meaning in the lab physics lab uh, for experimental purpose we are using the zener diode with breakdown voltage of 6 volt or 4.7 volt so such a very low breakdown voltage zener diodes are used in the lab for plus 2 experiment practical purposes are you clear so the basic idea is it's a heavily doped reverse biased 
diode is called what is this? Zener diode. Zener diode will be working only in reverse bias condition. That is very important. Each Zener diode it has its own breakdown voltage. The breakdown mechanism and breakdown voltage concept, all those things can be understood with the help of graph. Okay. As I have told earlier, different Zener diodes are available in the market with uh, different breakdown voltages. Here are some typical Zener diodes with the typical breakdown voltages are shown in the picture. The first one its breakdown voltage is 3.3 .3 volt. The second one its breakdown voltage is 5 volt. The third one its breakdown voltage is 9.1 volt. The fourth one, its breakdown voltage is 12 volt. Depends on the doping level, the breakdown voltage also varies. Now we are going to see what is Zener breakdown. It's a very important term. Already I have told that this Zener diode that is working only in reverse bias condition. P end of the diode is connected with the negative terminal of the power supply. N end is connected with positive end of the power supply. Here what we have to do, we have to increase the reverse voltage. When the reverse voltage is applied across the P and N region, what happens that the VR, reverse voltage is increased. When, it is, when VR is slowly increased, reverse voltage is increased, a strong electric field is set up across the junction. Strong electric field means the electric lines of force, they start to move from positive to negative. So, across the junction very strong electric field will be created. When the strong electric field is created due to the uh, setup of strong electric field, the covalent bond, look like the covalent bonds will be broken. The covalent bonds will be broken in the lattice. As soon as the covalent bonds are broken, what will happen? That is called rupture of covalent bonds. Rupture na odayaradhan artho. Here all atoms are bonded with the covalent bond due to the creation of the strong electric field all covalent bonds are broken. When the bondage is broken within the bond electrons are there. So that the electrons they will come out from the bondage from the covalent bond. When an electron comes out what will happen there will be a vacancy created by the electron such vacancy is called hole. Therefore electron hole pair will be created. Are you clear? When covalent bonds are broken, electron hole pairs will be created, they are generated. If more number of covalent bonds are broken, more number of electron holes pair will be created. Because of the strong electric field, more number of covalent bonds will be broken, more number of electron hole pairs will be generated. Because of the generation of electron hole pair, there will be a current called reverse saturation current is generated within the uh, Zener diode that is very important. This entire phenomena is called Zener breakdown. Allow the covalent bond and the covalent bond lane the electron holes pair create a he and the electron hole pair lane the reverse saturation current over and the entire phenomena can appear Zener breakdown. The production of the reverse current saturation current that is very important here. That one happens at a particular reverse voltage. For a particular reverse voltage, le, the reverse saturation current will be maximum. Abruptly, it is increasing. If you give a particular reverse voltage, at a particular reverse, reverse voltage across the diode, the current passing through the junction will be tremendous. Abruptly, the reverse saturation current increases. That can be limited by connecting one external resistance. The reverse saturation current can be limited by connecting a external resistance. The next part you have, we are going to learn about the forward bias and reverse bias characteristics of the Zener diode. There in the circuit you can observe one resistance. That resistance is called external resistance. That one will prevent the flow of which one? The reverse saturation current. That one may damage the uh, which one? The Zener diode. To avoid the damage of the Zener diode, uh, by the reverse saturation current, one external limiting resistance must be connected. Okay, so this is a general function of common general function of which one, Zener diode. The main important uh, uh, theme, the main important concept in the function of Zener diode is Zener breakdown. 
on the whole it is called zener effect okay 